Hello everyone, welcome back. As promised, we're going to get right into making the curb stones for the street view and, and walkway in front of our set. And what we need to do is make these little curb stones out of, whoops, uh, out of MDF. But where we have curves in the, the curb stone, we're going to do that out of Plaster of Paris. And first I'm going to show you how I made the straight curb stones. Uh, I put them through the saw. I gave them a, a kind of a seven degree angle. And then I ran them through my router and I just beveled off the, the leading edge to give it a little bit of a curve. And the trick is we're going to have to make a trowel and we're going to do it out of a little bit of old cutting board and we're going to make a form for shaping our plaster so that we can mimic this profile in plaster of paris um, i've already run some strips of mdf through the saw and we're going to take this one now over to the router and bevel the edge on it Okay, now what we've done is we've got our seven degree angle and we put that little bevel on the edge there and you can see I was a little bit high with my with my router bit so that's just something we can easily knock off that little edge with a piece of sandpaper so it's, that's not going to bother us at the moment. And then I went through with the chop saw and I just segmented it down into even pieces. And that part is more or less done. I think we have enough, enough curb stones. And if you followed what I was talking about last week, we basically want to line the edge of the sidewalk with these curb stones. And then there are some areas where we're going to have a tree or a telephone pole, or maybe there's going to be a parking space on the side of the road. And we want that to, we want those curb stones to, of course, have a curve and a curved shape. One thing about this in, in the design process on paper, it looks one way. And then when you start to lay everything out and you're getting your camera set up and your lighting, you start to run into little issues. So I like to kind of go with the flow and let the, with this type of thing and let it speak for itself and let it tell its own story. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it up to make the curves. We're gonna draw it all out on paper first. Okay, I'm back. So, We've got our curb stones, we've got our sidewalk, but what we want to have is uh, little turnoff areas where you would have maybe a parking space, we're going to have the tree, we're going to have a power pole, and we're not particularly sure, like I said, until we get our lighting set up, where things are going to look the best. So, if we have a view looking down let's say we have the the house is here and it's segmented into two parts this will be the the garage area and this is the house we'll say that's the chimney and we have kind of the front door two windows out front the main entrance to the garage two small windows we have this utility box, electrical ut utility box that's going to be on the sidewalk. And right now, the way we have it, we have sidewalk segments that if we put them on right now, they would just make a perfectly straight line across the front of the building. 
And what we're gonna wanna do is make it a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna have the tree, I imagine somewhere around here. So we'll say this, the canopy and the trunk of the tree hitting the ground right about there. So if we say the sidewalk comes out, wraps around the tree to make more or less a parking space through to here and then we bump back out again yeah we could do that and then maybe the power pole here one thing's for certain the curve that we're going to use for the the parking space for those curb stones so we're going to have straight curb stone straight curb stone straight curb stone and then right about here things are going to curve in, then we're going to have straight, 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 and then we're going to curve back out and straight again. These curves are basically not going to change. So it doesn't matter if we decide to shift them left or right. It's not going to matter. So, but what we need to do now is we need to make a template that's going to allow us to shape the, the plaster of Paris into this profile so that we can basically mold along the edge and create that, that look. So what I think we'll do is we'll take these flexible strips and we'll mount them in, we'll mount them down to the to the board in front of the set and fix them with some anchor points that basically hold the curve. And then this piece of wood, once we get it in the right profile and fixed in place, we'll be able to run our form along the edge to give us that perfect profile of the curb stone. So let's, <laughs> let's figure out how we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you how I mix plaster. So that's, um, that's fun and messy. We're gonna, for, for the mixture, we're gonna need a little bit of PVA glue or wood glue, water, of course, and some stirring sticks. Why not I put? And a bucket, we're gonna need a bucket. Got a little bit of water, some PVA glue, some plaster of Paris, and how I like to mix it is gently sprinkle it in until it starts to make a little island that doesn't soak in any longer. a little bit in there. Now this is gonna take a little while. It might seem like I've done it a bit too soon, but it takes a while to kick off and in the amount of time it takes to kick off we'll probably have everything set up. So we need it to get firm so that we can shape it correctly. And once it starts, once it really starts to go off, you, you don't have a lot of time to, uh, to play with it. So, but I, I like this material, it's quite forgiving. And it's super messy. <laughs> Shake all the air bubbles out. And now we're just gonna set that off to the side to set up. So we have a curb stone that 
let's say you're going to go in the thickness of a panel. That'll keep things uh, that'll keep things interesting. Let's see if I can get that in the shot a little bit better for you here. So if we keep this more or less here, that looks good. So that's that's what we're going to go for. So now we just need to find a way to replicate and hold that shape for our form. What we're going to do now, though, we're just going to go to the scroll saw and we're going to cut this profile out of our section of old cutting board. And we want to have the profile backwards, something like that. That looks good. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that off. I think that's uh, that's gonna do it. We have a nice profile now that we can shape our plaster with. So we're just gonna set that off to the side. And the next thing we need to concern ourselves with is fixing, creating some anchor points that allow us to fix this form to the the surface and we need to also need a surface that we're actually going to work on and replicate this little this little operation so let's uh i'll be right back one second 